Welcome everybody. Today's video is going to be a quick discussion on multiple endocrine neoplasias, also known as the MEN syndromes. So basically, these are just syndromes of endocrine gland tumors. So you're going to have multiple, meaning you need two plus, so you need at least two or more, endocrine, so you need endocrine neoplasias, so cancers pretty much, or or abnormal growths of tissue. They can be either benign or they can be malignant. So that's all multiple endocrine neoplasias really are. They're gonna be associations of multiple endocrine kind of disorders, proliferations, uh, either benign or malignant, and they'll be due to, uh, due to a disorder. Now, note that all of our types that we're gonna be talking about are gonna be autosomal dominant. Uh, so, meaning you only need to inherit one uh, bad copy of the gene, so one bad allele uh, to get these disorders. So I'm just going to go over the very, very basics. Uh, there are going to be three main types that we're going to be talking about. So you have uh, the first one, and that's going to be men type 1 disorders. So uh, also known as uh, Wormer syndrome. Uh, that's just another name for it. So I'm just going to cover the buzzwords, the, the high yield stuff. Now what it is, is it's going to be, uh, in, like I said, it's all autosomal dominant. And you're going to be looking specifically at the MEN1 gene. The MEN1 gene. This is on chromosome 11. On chromosome 11. And what this uh, gene encodes for is going to be menin, which is going to be a tumor suppressor uh, gene. So I'm going to write tumor. So this product, this gene, is going to encode for menin, which is a tumor suppressor. Um, so if you have a tumor suppressor that's mutated or gone awry, then you're going to get tumors or neoplasias, and they're going to involve the endocrine system. And you're going to see multiple. So all of these are multiple, at least two or more. So for the for MEN1 syndrome, you need to think of the three P's, the three P's of MEN1 syndrome. So you've got the pituitary, the pituitary. You've also got the pancreas, and then finally you've got the parathyroid. Now the parathyroid is going to be the most important. Um, however. Uh, you you may also see pancreas disorders such as um, Zollinger uh, Ellison syndrome. You may see VIPomas. Um, really, anything that involves the pancreas, the endocrine portion of the pancreas. Um, also, pituitary is involved, or you can get the parathyroid as well. So the three P's. So MEN1 syndrome. Think of the three P's. You're going to have problems, you're going to have neoplasias of your pituitary, of your pancreas, or of your parathyroid glands. Now let's take a look at the second one. This is going to be MEN2A. So this implies that there's going to be a 2B, and we'll talk about that, and that'll be our third one uh, next slide. So the MEN2A and the MEN2B are going to be kind of the same, kind of different. So I'll actually do this on the same slide. So we've got 2A versus 2B. And then down the middle is kind of where we'll, where we'll separate them. Both of these, however, involve kind of the same process. It involves an RET uh, proto-oncogene mutation. So remember, uh, autosomal dominant inheritance as well. So if you mutate this RET proto-oncogene, you're also going to have neoplasias, um, and you'll see the differences here between 2A and 2B. So for 2A, you want to think, okay, let's, let's redo this, 2PM, 2PM, like you know your mid-afternoon snack or so, 2PM. This is going to involve two P's and one M neoplasia. So our two P's are going to be parathyroid, parathyroid, that's our first P, and our second P is going to be pheo uh, 
adrenochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma, so the adrenal medulla, or the uh, adrenal medulla. And then lastly, we've got medullary thyroid carcinoma. Medullary thyroid carcinoma. This is also known as Sipple syndrome, S I P P L E syndrome. So men 2A, also known as Sipple syndrome, think 2 p.m. 2 in the afternoon, 2 p.m. So there's going to be 2p neoplasias. So when you see uh, pheochromocytoma, parathyroid uh, neoplasias linked together, you also need to be looking out for uh, the medullary thyroid carcinoma, the 2pm. And then lastly, we're going to talk about 2b, so men 2b. Uh, this is going to be P2M, 2p2m. So we're going to be talking mainly about 2p neoplasias and 2m neoplasias. Our 2p's are going to be parathyroid, not as important, but the main one is going to be pheochromocytomas. And then lastly, uh, our two M's are going to be again medullary thyroid carcinoma. Now you'll see some people that do list parathyroid as an uh, as an M men to B disorder. Um, really, the main one that you should start is going to be this pheochromocytoma. You've got medullary thyroid cancer or carcinoma, and then you've got Uh, mucosal neuroma. Also throw in here Marfan-like syndrome. So you really could have a third M. So Marfanoid uh, body appearance, a Marfanoid phenotype. Uh, you may also see that Marfanoid phenotype over here. I'm going over the very, very, very basics. Um, just realize that for the higher yield stuff for men one, also known as Wormer syndrome, just remember, it's a it's a tumor suppressor that gets that gets messed up, so you're not able to suppress that tumor. You're having mutation there, and you're going to be dealing with three P's. There will be no M disorders, just the P's. You've got your pituitary, you've got your pancreas, and you've got your parathyroid. For the men, two disorders, it's categorized into A and B. A is going to involve two P's mainly. Uh, the parathyroid and the pheochromocytoma, along with medullary thyroid carcinoma. Over over here, um, there are two P's. You could also change this to one P, because this pheochromocytoma is your big one. Uh, also, there is parathyroid neoplasia as well. And then for your M's of your MEN2 syndrome, you've got medullary thyroid cancer, you've got mucosal neuromas, uh, or you can swap one of those out for a Marfanoid syndrome. You could even change that to a 3M uh, if, if you so choose. Um, all of them are due to an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern. So what these are is you're going to have a problem. So in MEN1, you're going to have a problem with that uh, tumor suppressor menin product. Over here for MEN2, you're going to have an RET proto-oncogene mutation. Um, and what these do is it causes kind of a grouping of syndromes. And what kind of syndromes are they? They're going to be endocrine neoplasias. And you're going to see multiple. So if you have a mutation in this ret proto-oncogene, you can get multiple, so two or more, of these endocrine neoplasias. The endocrine being endocrine due to parathyroid neoplasia, pheochromocytoma, medullary thyroid carcinoma. All of these are dealing with endocrine hormones. So that's where we get the men syndrome. I covered the main ones. Uh, yes, there are some lesser uh, associations. These are the main associations. You'll see these in most patients. However, there are some smaller percentile of patients that express other endocrine disorders that I ha don't have listed here. If you have any questions uh, over this video, any comments, please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much.